Hello everyone, I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. Welcome to part two of my Little Fox and Brumi tutorial. If you didn't watch part one yet, you can find the link to it in the description below or I can also link to it up there. So start there and then afterwards you can get back to this video to finish your Little Fox. So welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for crocheting along with me so far. Today we will crochet the head, ears and tail of our little fox and we will assemble it. So if you have any questions just leave me a comment below and let's jump right in and continue with our little fox. So we begin with the head and we start with the white or cream color yarn and we begin with the magic ring. And then we single crochet six in the magic ring for round one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we close the magic ring, but not too tightly. First, we start round two. And in round two, we begin with one single crochet in the first stitch. Then in the next stitch, we increase so two single crochet in here that's one and two in the same stitch in the next one we single crochet one again and in the next stitch we increase and in the second single crochet of this increase we change to red so here we make the first single crochet and now I just prepare prepare my loop so that I can change colors in the second single crochet of this increase. So I make another single crochet in the same stitch but this time I change to red. So I complete the single crochet with my little red loop and then in the next stitch we single crochet one in red And then in the next stitch we have one more increase. So one and two single crochet in here. And now we can close the magic ring completely. Just be careful not to break your yarn, especially if you're using acrylic. And that's round two done. I'm just making sure that everything is nice and even and pointed in the right direction. And I put my stitch marker in the last stitch here. Then in round three, we start with a single crochet in which we change to white. So now the white yarn goes on top so we need to switch those around and then we single crochet one in the next stitch like I already started here and in the next stitch we increase So that's one and two single crochet in the same stitch and 
then we single crochet one in each of the next two stitches that's one and that's two in the next stitch we increase and at the same time we change to red so the first single crochet of the increase we make in white and in the second we switch to red so now we pick up the red yarn and then we single crochet in the next two stitches and we make an increase in the last stitch so two single crochet in here And that's round three done. Then in round four, we start with a single crochet. Then in the next single crochet, we cha change to white. Then we have another single crochet and in the next stitch we increase so that's one and two single crochet in the same stitch then we single crochet in the next two one and two and in the next single crochet we change to red then we single crochet one four stitches we increase so two single crochet in each of the last four stitches that's the second increase the third increase And the last increase in round five we start with a single crochet again in red and then in the next single crochet we change to white so we switch colors here so white goes on top and then we single crochet in the next six stitches so that's one two three four five six 
five and six and then in the next single crochet we change to red so now red goes on top and then we single crochet in the next two stitches that's one and two then we increase one now we single crochet in the next two stitches one and two now we increase in the next two stitches that's one and two so that's one increase and this is the second increase and in the last stitch we single crochet one and that's round five complete because I made this pattern up as I went <laughs> the numbers are a bit strange but it worked somehow <laughs> so you can if you prefer you can leave one increase so that you have 18 stitches so we single crochet one and round six then in the next single crochet we change to white So we switch colors here, then we increase, so one more single crochet in the same stitch here, then we single crochet in the next five stitches, that was one. That's two, that's three, four, and five. And now in the next stitch we increase, and with this increase, with the second single, single crochet of the increase, we change to red, so we switch colors again, and then we single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Now, if your round has 18 stitches now, then you can um, make an additional increase somewhere here, but because I did it in a slightly odd way, I have 19 stitches now and so I don't make any more increases because I want to get to 21 which we will have after this round and I definitely wanted two increases on the sides so that we get the shape of a fox head so that's 10 single crochet complete and so the round is done and we have a stitch count of 21 so now in round six we start with two single crochet this time before we change color to white in the next single crochet so we switch colors around and then we single crochet in the next seven stitches that's one two three four five, six, 
six, seven, and then in the next single crochet we change to red and now we simply single crochet in the remaining 11 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So now we can secure our stitch for now because next we will embroider the nose and insert the safety eyes. So now we can embroider the nose and insert the safety eyes. And we won't be needing the white yarn anymore for the head. So we can cut that off. And then we'll need our black embroidery floss. I cut like a little over 30 centimeters um, so a little over 12 inches, that should be enough. And then I threaded it on my sewing needle. So that's a pointy one because we want to go in between the fibers of the yarn, not just in between stitches. And then we stitch through from the inside out somewhere near the center of the magic ring but like I said I don't stitch through the center I try to catch some fibers because this way I have more control over where the stitch goes and then now this is the top so the white part is the bottom of the head the red part the top so by looking at the center of the red part I know where the top is and we want to make a little triangle shape so I'm stitching a little toward the left and now be careful not to poke your fingers so once you know where you want to stitch through remove your fingers Sometimes it's really hard to pull the needle out, so sometimes I use little pliers to pull it out if you have them. The small ones you use for jewelry making, those are helpful for this. So now I go again through the middle. Just remind myself where the top of the head is and then I stitch in the other direction and stitch back through inside. So now we have a little V shape here and this way we know that the basic shape is sorted. Now we just need to add some more stitches in the middle of the V. So I go again through the somewhere, like almost the same spot on the pointy side of the V. And then I stitch through somewhere close. One of these stitches back through to the inside. And then back out again at the pointy end. And this time I'm stitching close to the other stitch on the left here. 
and I'm always trying to catch a few fibers so I stitch somewhere through the yarn One more stitch for the nose. So again, through to the middle. Maybe now we don't need to go all the way because that is pretty much covered. Now we just need to cover this little part there. more stitches we make the more difficult it gets let's see if I can cope without pliers no much easier with those <laughs> especially because I just moisturized my hands <laughs> so Now, I'm just trying to cover this spot that's still white there. And once in a while, have a look, you know, to make sure it's all pointing the right way. And so now I'll stitch through here. the nose embroidered. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see how it looks if I embroider a little mouth as well. So I stitch through from the inside out cl very close to the pointy end of the nose. And then I make a small stitch in this direction. And I stitch through to the other side. Where the other side of the mouth would go. If you don't have pliers then maybe stitch through to the inside of the head and outward again because that's um that's easier if you don't have pliers now i stitch back through the center here underneath the nose and toward with the pointy end of the nose like this and then through the same spot like the center of the little mouth I just stitch through to the inside I just want to pull out the stitch a little more it out with the other side and I think that's looking good so I'm gonna keep the little mouth so then once you're done with your embroidery 
you can tie the, the ends inside the head. Just, I just make a double knot. As close to the inside of the nose as possible to secure it properly. short. So now we can already go ahead and insert the safety eyes. So one, two, three, four, maybe between round four and five. That's what I did for the little dog. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to insert one here, but um, because I'm using cotton yarn and it, I crochet quite tightly, I need to make the gap a little bigger so that I can get the safety eye in. But I'm very careful. So I'm using my little scissors here but they are closed and I just carefully insert them. You could also use your crochet hook and then I just widen this gap very gently so I don't damage any of the fiber. This way if I change my mind and I want the, the eyes to go somewhere else instead, I can still do that and that's absolutely fine. It doesn't look strange. Okay, I think I was wrong because I tried closer to the nose and that didn't look right. So then I moved them just further outward with more space in between. And I think that works. I think that looks cute. So I placed them now between round one, two, three, four, five, and six. And they have one, two, three, oops, no. One, two, three, four, five, six stitches. They are apart. Those are these three um, increases that we made. And then there's probably one stitch that we can't see under the eye now on each side. But anyway, place them, try it out, place them wherever you like. I did widen the gaps carefully with my um, closed scissors and it wasn't a problem at all. So it doesn't show even if I change my mind and move them to another spot. So once you're happy with the placement, you can secure the ends. So now we can go ahead and crochet the next round and now the rest is really easy because we can um, let go of the white yarn and just continue with red. So we single crochet in the next five stitches. Just leave the white yarn end on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, and then we make an invisible decrease. And we repeat this two more times. So one, two, three, four, five, and 
decrease. Now one more time. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, this time we have six. I forgot because we had 22 stitches, not 21. And then decrease in here. the round complete. So now we have a round of So now before we crochet any further we can start filling the head. So first I'm going to hide all of these yarn ends in here. we want to make sure that the nose is nicely filled and it goes all around the safety eyes so they need to be smaller actually to get in between the safety eyes and in the small nose there in the snout That's good, and then the rest, the rest of the nose, we can, uh, the rest of the head, we can fill later. So in the next round, we single crochet one, then we decrease. single crochet one decrease one single crochet one decrease one single crochet one decrease one Single crochet one, decrease one, single crochet one, decrease one, single crochet one so now now it's time to fill the rest of the head 
because the, the next round will be our last round of the head. Just make sure it's nicely filled, not overfilled, though. There we go, that's definitely enough. Next round we make six decreases and then we single crochet in the last stitch. So Just pushing the fiber fill back in if I accidentally crochet it in a stitch. Three. Four. Oops. Five. And six. And then one single crochet in the last stitch. Just pushing that fiber fill back in. So there is a teeny tiny gap in case you need to add more. Then we fasten off. Pull that through. Then we take our yarn needle, thread the end, and now we go through the front loops of all seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, then pull that tight and now we go through the center of the last round and stitch through somewhere somewhere where it's red so we can weave in the yarn end and pull nice and tight to flatten this last round have a little bit of fiber for peeking out there but that's fine I can sort that out later and then we just weave in the yarn end.
whip. So I'm going to crochet the ears in brown, but you could also use red if you prefer. And we start with a magic ring. Then we single crochet four in the magic ring. One. Two. Three. And four. Then we close the magic ring, but not too tightly. Then in the next round, we single crochet in the first stitch. So when I have such a small round, like something like four stitches, then I just loosen the yarn end on my hook and I just loosen the loop on my hook. And then I insert my hook in the first stitch because this way I have much more space to do that. It's not as difficult. But then before I crochet the stitch, I tighten the loop around my hook again. So now the round automatically closes and I can crochet in this stitch. Now in the second stitch we increase. So two single crochet in the same and the next stitch goes one single crochet and in the last stitch we increase again now the round may have gone inside out now because we didn't fully tighten the magic ring yet so I just pull my loop out now we can fully tighten the magic ring and then we can turn it the right way round you can use your hook also and then just carefully turn it the right way so that the inside goes in and the outside is out and that's it now in the next round we simply single crochet in all six stitches three four five and six fasten off and we leave the yarn end a little longer because we're going to use that too. So the ear on. Now we decide where we want the inside of the ear to be and I recommend where we just fasten off that could be the outside of the back of the ear and then this could be the inside or the front and there we're going to make a little embroidery now with the white or cream color yarn. So that's going to be really easy. We just go through to the inside, then we get out somewhere near the tip of the ear with the 
the inside or the front side of the ear facing us. That's where we make this embroidery. And then we just make about three stitches through the same spot. sure this one goes next to it let's make it four so this is the third one actually but then we'll make one more To finish that off. Now the fourth stitch goes somewhere close to the bottom of the ear like this. So now we crochet the tail and we start with a magic ring. single crochet four in the magic ring one two three and four and I'm doing the same thing that I did with the ears I close the magic ring not not fully yet then I pull out my loop a little to make it easier to insert my hook in the first stitch here and in round two, we increase we increase in all four stitches. So once the hook is inserted there, I tighten the loop around my hook again. And then I start crocheting. So oops, two. single crochet in there, two in the next, two in the next, and two in the last. Now we can tighten the magic ring fully. And turn our work the right way round in case it got turned inside out. Now at the end of the next round, we'll change to red. So I'm just gonna prepare my little loop here so I have it ready. There we go. And then we single crochet in the next stitch and we increase in the next and we repeat this four times all together. So three more times now. Single crochet one and increase one. Single crochet one and increase one and once more single crochet one and increase one so in the next single crochet that goes in the same stitch we change to red so pick up the white yarn and then I pull the red loop on my hook pull it through the white 
make loops and then we continue in red. In the next round, we single crochet in the next three stitches. Increase and then in the next three again. So we repeat this two more times one, two, three, and increase. One, two, three, and increase in the last stitch. Forgot that <laughs> last time. So, by the way, we won't be needing the white yarn anymore, so you can cut that off. Now, in the next round, we single crochet in all 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now in the next round we decrease slightly, so we single crochet in the next three. One, Two, three, and we decrease. Then we repeat this two more times. Three single crochet and decrease. And once more, one, two, three, oops, and decrease. We single crochet in all 12 stitches so at this point I just squeeze the tail together it will be easier to crochet in it one two three just don't crochet in both sides at the same time four Five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine, ten. 
10 11 and 12 now we decrease a little more so this time we single crochet in the next two stitches one and two decrease and then we do this two more times one two and decrease and one two Oops. and decrease so now we have a round of nine stitches oops and in the next two rounds we simply single crochet in all nine of them and also it starts raining again so if I switch to voice over then that's why That's one round of nine single crochet done and actually we can now hide these yarn ends in the tail. Could have done that before. So I just push them in with something. My scissors, it's easier than with my hook. Oops. Continue with the, the next round of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, actually let's add another round of nine, so one, two, three,
that became too noisy, so I'm doing the voice over again. So we start with one decrease in round 11, and then we single crochet in the next seven stitches. So that we reduce the stitch count to a number of eight. Then in round 12, we begin with a decrease again. And then we single crochet in the remaining six stitches of the round so that we end up with a round of seven. In the last round, we start with a decrease again and then we single crochet in the remaining five stitches. So one, two, three, four. Five, and that's the round done. Just check in here if the length is okay and I think it is. Oh, by the way, you could fill the tail more than I did. I only filled the end of it because I wanted to point downward. So I imagine if it was filled, it would probably um, not so easily point downwards. But that's up to you, of course. So here we still have rain. Um, here I attached the ears. And while I was attaching the first ear, it was still raining. But then for the second ear, it stopped. So I'll explain what I'm actually doing here for the second ear. So let's just jump right to the second ear and then you know what to do with both ears.
is gone for now, so I'm gonna start talking again. <laughs> so, ear number one is attached. So with the brown yarn ends, um, the only place you have to weave them in is the ear itself. So you can just stitch through to the back here where you have some brown surface and then you can just weave the end in with a few stitches, especially this one here that you used to attach the ear. And once that's done, fasten up. And then the other yarn end. Also just weave in or you can have a look if it needs more attaching somewhere. Back here. And then you can weave this one in as well. Okay, now we repeat this with the second ear and because now the rain is has calmed down I'm gonna explain what I did with the second ear so I'm attaching the ears between round let's see that was one one two three one two three four five six and seven if I'm not mistaken so once you're happy with the placement the first thing I do so I can just get rid of that pin and so that the ears are a little bit secured is I take the white yarn ends and I stitch them through to the underside of the to, to just to under the head here keeping in mind how I want to attach the ear and then I just weave in the end here with a few stitches And that already secures the ear a little bit, especially since I do this with both white yarn ends. Just cut that off. Then the other white one. Maybe go through a different spot this time. This will appear next to it, for example, next to the where the previous yarn end went. That just that will secure it even better. Oh, I think it starts again. <laughs> Make sure the placement is the way you want it to be and also this can go then the pin and then you just weave the end in with a few stitches yep raining again <laughs> So 
So then you go ahead with the brown yarn ends. You sew the ear on, actually with the with the working end. That works better if you use the working end. So you just go through somewhere. Somewhere on the head and close to, very close or underneath the ear ideally. You just catch a little loop of the head there because the if you use brown for the head, then you don't want the stitches to be too big, if you know what I mean. Because you don't want them to show too much. So try to go almost underneath, you know, where the ear is going to go. So. Just make a few stitches like that until you feel the ear is firmly attached. Oh, it's calming down again. Maybe here on the other side. And once you're once you feel it's firmly attached, you can weave in the, the end on the back of the ear. Because we don't have much other choice, especially if you use brown yarn for the ears. If you use red yarn, of course, you can weave the, the ends in anywhere on the head where it's red. Okay, cut that very short and then we just have the other brown end left and if you feel the ear needs still needs to be secured more, you can use this yarn end to do that. So I just want to make another stitch here. And then you can weave it in. Oops, unthread it. then my ear isn't really the shape I wanted it anymore. I want it more flat so then you can just squeeze it a bit. And that's done. Ears attached. So now we can attach the head to the body. So for the body we have a red yarn end and a white one so that we can attach both parts easily. So first because the white one is just peeking out there, I just thread that and make it go out like this. Okay, so now we can place the head on the body in whichever way we like. So ideally I would want the, the white to align here. So move it in this direction. Just be careful not to pop your fingers or anything. Okay. 
and I think it looks cute this way. So let's go with it. And since I already have my white yarn threaded, I start with the white part here. So now it's coming out of the body. So ne the next step is to attach it to the head. So I just catch a loop on the head. And then I go through the body again. And then again through the head. And through the body. Moving that pin and through the head. Oops. Kind of want to hide that little red spot that's shining through there. We'll see if I can do this. And I'm going back and forth. So now I move my way back. So now again through the body. through the body. I go back on this side because the, I'm not quite happy with how it's attached here. So I want to make another stitch here. Okay, now maybe I'm maybe I'll need the white yarn end again, so I don't weave that in just yet. Now I'm sewing on the red part. So threading that red yarn end and I'm going through here first. Or actually through the head I should go first. like so hmm. okay then through the body if we can get rid of the pin through the body then again through the head Double check sometimes if you're happy with how it's attached. It's a little bit tilted, but I think that's cute. And then I'm going back the other way again. Through the head. Through 
through the body. Through the head and through the body, there's a little gap, so that definitely needs another stitch. And now that it's firmly attached, I'm using the same yarn and to close these gaps that we had here when we made the um, the neck so closing this gap in the way okay then we move to the other side so we can close the other gap you can again sew across the neck if you feel the head needs to be more firmly attached Here we are at the other gap. That one's not quite as big, so maybe that's already done. Mm -hmm. So now we can weave in this yarn end. And if you don't need the white yarn and anymore to secure the head, then we can weave this one in as well. So now all that's left to attach is the tail. So First I pin it in place just to make sure that it's centered and at the right height. It needs to go higher definitely I think. I think that's the right placement. So then we just sew this one on with a few stitches.
So make sure you go through both through both layers of the tail when you sew it on or you could also go all around to sew it on this of course that also works i'll just do both layers at the same time Then also keep in mind where you want um, it to point. So I want it mine to point downwards. So this is how I'm sewing it on. And through the tail again. I think that's looking good so now I'm just gonna um, just weave in the yarn it with a few stitches and if you have some white spots that are bothering you anywhere you can cover them uh, maybe a little better while at the same time weaving in the yarn end. So I don't really mind these spots, but some that are quite obvious, I'm gonna cover now, like this one at the leg as well. One more stitch through here and then just cut the end short and that's our little fox done. Oh, I love foxes, they are so cute. So our little fox is complete now. Thank you so much for crocheting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you'd like to see more of this type of little amigurumi pattern. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of my future amigurumi tutorials. Thank you so, so much for your time and happy creating. Bye.